Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Funeral service for John W. Chapman, 85, of Duck River Community, will be this morning at 11 o'clock at Holly Pond Funeral Home Chapel. Funeral service for Patricia Diane Armstrong, 69, will be this afternoon at 2 at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in Welty Cemetery. Visitation will be from noon until 2 at Moss Service Funeral Home. Funeral service for Myra Juanice Harding, age 57, will be tomorrow, Tuesday, at 6.30 p.m. at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The family will receive friends after the service at the funeral home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Premier Bank presents Today on 2. It is March, the second day of March. Already, huh? Is winter over? No, no, I think it's still coming. The rest of the, have you noticed? The yes, I, know you I have. did. I looked at the weather forecast and, wow, after last week you wouldn't think that. I know. But, no, we're not going to get like we had last week. No, I wouldn't think so. But, but we're say middle of the week. Some snow, maybe some more that white stuff. With, possible precipitation. Yeah. Well, let's check the weather. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The Almanac for the 2nd of March in Coleman. The average <laughs> high temperature should be 61. Mm -hmm. Average low 39. Record high 83 in 1932. The record low 10 in 1980. Wow. Sunset will be at 544. Sunrise tomorrow at 614. The satellite picture shows precipitation moving through the southeast. You can look out your window and yeah. see precipitation <laughs> moving through the southeast. 100%. <laughs> That's right. Here's our forecast for today. It will be cloudy with a pretty good chance of rain today. As we're getting right now a high of 44. Overnight low tonight, just 41. Tomorrow, 67, but an 80% chance of rain. Mm. Usually when it warms up that fast, mm. this time of year you get thunderstorms, yeah, don't you? Yeah, not good, not good. And the rest of the week, Wednesday, 90% chance of rain, a high of 55, but then look, the low, Thursday morning, 24, high just 33. <laughs> and they say a wintry mix oh is boy. possible. Then a low of 20. Then starting to warm up again, 43, 52, 54, something like that. So we're going to go from, what, 67 today to 33 on right. Thursday. Yeah. 
I had seen 70 tomorrow, but that was, you know, right. just, right. and then down to 32. So it was like 40, almost 40 degrees difference. You know, it was just and amazing. I've had people tell me recently because the, the weather has just been like a roller coaster mm -hmm. that it affects your health. Oh, you know, when you go yeah. extreme hot and cold uh -huh. and so forth. Sure that, it does, uh, yeah. And more than just colds, I guess. Right, yeah. right. But the upper respiratory type things for mm -hmm. sure and so forth. So yeah, yeah it's just kind of, and I don't know about you guys, but my skin has been just so dry. Oh, well, I that, itch, well, yeah. The cold air we've had, yeah, it yeah, just, not much moisture yeah. other than snow. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But, but, but it was uh, very pretty. It was very oh, yes. pretty. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and did you ever uh, hear exactly how much we got? How much? How? I'm thinking uh, maybe as much as 10 inches. Okay. And okay. I did hear some people say it was a record snowfall for February. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Well, I would think so. I've never been here when it was that that many right. inches. You know, with that we've gotten that much snow. Yeah. That was so, pretty impressive. Uh, and if you're going to get a snow. This was a good way to do it. Everybody knew it was coming. Yes. Didn't start until about noon, so you had a chance to right. either go somewhere or stay home. Right, yeah. And then it finished during the night time, and if you didn't have to go somewhere Thursday morning, you could wait till noon. Right. By then, the roads cleared up. Mm -hmm. I stayed home all day Thursday. <laughs> yep. I didn't go anyplace. <laughs> it sure was pretty. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our black lab enjoyed it too. He was doing snow angels in the snow. Oh, all right. <laughs> Rubbing his back and just, just, he just loved it. <laughs> I think anybody that had a sled or anything like that enjoyed the snow. Yeah, last week. No they doubt probably about that. did. They did. Well, let's see. Uh, let's check our Facebook friend. Who's our friend for today? Uh, let's see, Dennis Kaler? Dennis Kaler, I know Dennis. Okay, yeah, I think I know him too, don't I? Now, is that his look-alike that he's holding there? I think so. <laughs> and he likes Berkeley Bob's Coffee House. Yes, he does. And Julian Wilson, so, mm -hmm. all righty, Dennis, and we're going to give you a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just please come by here first to pick up that certificate, and then go on out there and get your sandwich. Okay, for our guest segment today, Jacqueline is going to put on her other hat. <laughs> I guess, you know me, I wear hats, different hats all the time, all and, the time. And uh, we'll just keep it a secret. Okay. And uh, we'll talk to Jacqueline about her other occupation <laughs> right after this break. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Well, let's find out what's Jacqueline up to. <laughs> you know me. I'm terrible. I change jobs like people change <laughs> coffee cups or something. I don't know. But anyway, I am now the member engagement representative 
for the Better Business Bureau. Does that not Can sound you get impressive? That on one business card? Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know when you think of my name, Jacqueline B. Schindel, that, that right. takes up quite a so you gotta have a title to go underneath <laughs> that and everything. But um, basically I've s i I don't want to say I took Ann Mullins's place because nobody can fill Ann's shoes right. and she mm -hmm. was with them for seventeen years. Wow, I but she that. retired in the fall uh -huh. and I used to work with the Better Business Bureau years ago. I worked for them for about ten years and basically I encourage people to be members. Right. You know, that was my job, and it was strictly part-time, but uh, Ann was the, um, uh, like, she was the district vice president for this area. Okay, I think that was what her title was. So she was over Coleman and Winston County, and so she did a lot of things, and my, my position now doesn't incorporate all of that. It incorporates some of that, but basically I am here to try to be, I think, a liaison between the members and the BBB, the Better Business Bureau. And so I thought it might be kind of nice today for us to talk about some of the things that the Better Business Bureau does for their members. Because a lot of people, when you say you're with the Better Business Bureau, oh yeah, that's that place I can call if I have a complaint right. about a business. That's uh -huh. the first thing they think of, you yeah. know, which is, is accurate. You can do mm -hmm. that. And it kind of helps the businesses and the individual, the consumer. Uh, it's a good thing because the consumer has some place to go in, in the event that the business doesn't seem to meet their needs. You know, let's say they have a complaint or an issue or whatever. Maybe they've gone to the business. Sometimes they don't, you know, right. but they've gone back to the business and they've complained and the business has tried to do what they could, but the consumer's still not happy for whatever reason. So that's when the BBB comes into place. And so that consumer and the business, they try to work things out. Mm -hmm. And the business is trying to do their best to please and to satisfy that consumer. Now, sometimes, folks, certain people out there, you can't ever satisfy them. <laughs> you know, you do whatever you possibly can within the scope of your business without just giving away the bank. And, so, and those people are still not happy, you know. If that's the case and you, you've tried and they're still not happy and they still want something, then we have an arbitration system. Mm -hmm. So then they can go before uh, an unbiased board. These are volunteers that help with this and they're trained. They're trained. Instead of having to go through the court system, yeah. it's better for the consumer. It's better for the, uh, the business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, no offense, but you don't have to get lawyers involved. Right. You just plead your case. These arbitrators look at it. They make a decision, and then that's final. Mm -hmm. That's the answer, okay? So you have that process that you can go through. Okay, so everybody knows about that. But what they don't know, and in the fact that I was there for 10 years, and then I've been gone for six, and now I'm back, I see that they have done so many more things. They've added so many more benefits to being an accredited business, mm -hmm. okay? We, we try not to refer to them as, as members so much as an accredited business. And so we are offering, and we have been, when I was around, we started offering this. It's what's called a resource guide, okay? And uh, we have a brand new one that's going to be coming out in April for 2015. But basically, it's a list of all of our members in North Alabama. Mm -hmm. And it shows that these people um, are a, an accredited business with the Better Business Bureau. And so it's a nice little guide that it's free. You know, we put them out at different places. We send them to all of our accredited businesses. And it covers all of, Coleman is the, is the uh, most southern county mm -hmm. uh, and the northern, you know, so it covers all of North Alabama because our main office is in Huntsville. And so they cover all of these counties. And then Birmingham covers, you know, the southern. And then there was one in, I think, Mobile. But I think there's been some changes, so I'm not sure exactly, you know, the, re the rest of the redistricting, redistricting of the, the state. But anyway, so this is a nice little added perk that just for being a member, being an accredited business, you're going to be listed in this directory. And so when people have needs, they can say, oh, yeah, let me look, let me see if they're a member. Mm -hmm. well, what's the big deal about being an accredited business with the Better Business Bureau, you know? First of all, you care enough about your community that you're willing to pay a dues, okay? You, you have to pay to be a, be a member because otherwise we have to have some source of income. And so your, your businesses are paying for this. They're paying for us to have employees, for us to put together things like this, you know, that sort of thing. 
But as an accredited business, you are also given the opportunity to do the best that you can, and we rate you. That wasn't something that was being, it was just starting about the time I left. So there's the A plus and A and A minus and that sort of thing, and down to Bs and Cs. And so when you first become a member, it's, you can't necessarily be an A-plus member right away. You kind of have to work up to that, Ooh, you know? Okay. So they look at how many years have you been a member, mm -hmm. and they also look at um, if you had any complaints, okay? Did you respond to those complaints, okay? Having a complaint against your company is really not a bad thing. It gives you an opportunity to show that you are willing to get out there and try to correct that complaint, you know. So I always used to tell people, if you get some, you know, if somebody complains against you, just answer the complaint. Answer the Better Business Bureau. Right. They're, they're appealing to you and say, let's hear your side of the story. And that's what's important because there's always two sides to the story, you know. Sometimes individuals, consumers think that they're entitled to certain things and that's not what the contract said. Mm -hmm. And they didn't read the contract. So all of a sudden they realize, ah, okay, that's not what you promised me. You know, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Anyway, so, uh, you know, there are levels. And the levels, the A-plus ratings and so forth, come from our Council of Better Business Bureau, which is like our national, I'd say, big umbrella. Mm -hmm. Covers all of the local Better Businesses. And so they're the ones that set the standards. So we have no control on a local level of how they set these standards. But they look at how many employees you have, how much money you, uh, you earn throughout the, your income throughout the year, and, of course, how long you've been a member, and then, of course, how, if you've had complaints and if you've responded and stuff. So because the larger the company, the more likely you're going to have some complaints. Okay. Well, sure. Think yeah. about it. More you know? customers. You More have. customers and that kind <laughs> well. of thing. So just because somebody has several complaints against them, it doesn't negate them from having an A plus rating. Mm -hmm. it may sound a little strange, but you know, it's just like with anything. There's issues about everything. You know. Yeah. So so that's a good thing. The other thing is we have a fantastic website. www. Uh, North Alabama, uh, let me look that up. Okay, NorthAlabama.BBB.org. So you can go onto that website, and on the website it shows you uh, all the members. You know, you can click, you can put in a business's name. Okay, you put that business's name in there, and then it will bring you to their page to on our website. It will bring you to their page, and it will show you how long they've been a member, and what kind of rating do they have, and if they've ever had any complaints, and did they answer those, you know, that kind of thing, response to the complaints. So it's a great thing, but it also allows you then to go to, if they have a website, click on their website. Mm -hmm. So it kind of links you, and we keep track of how many times somebody looks up your information. So we keep a log of that. So we can tell you specifically that, let's just say for instance, it's a construction company, okay? In the month of January, we had 70 hits or contacts or whatever in reference to ABC Construction Company. And then it breaks it down to type of business, a TOB, and so then it could be all construction companies. So anytime somebody requests information, they can request specifically about your company, or they could just say, I'm looking for a contractor. I'm looking for a construction company in Huntsville or in Coleman or in Decatur or wherever. They will send out information about all of our accredited businesses in North Alabama. So there sometimes are thousands of inquiries on one particular type of business, especially construction and things mm -hmm. like that. So that's another way of us being able to, first of all, we track it and, and can show our, our accredited business, look, we send out information about your particular business this many times, but we send out information about construction companies this many times, you know. So it's a nice way of being able to be on the internet and uh, people can, in, can inquire about you. And a lot of businesses think, ah, you know, how many times could you have possibly asked about my, like, even doctors? I was surprised. 
People go online now, or they check out the doctors, especially if they're new in the community, mm -hmm. or they want a specific surgery. Right. They're having yeah. a particular situation, and they think, well, I've always known my family practice doctor, but I don't know what surgeon to go to, mm -hmm. you know. And even though your family practice doctor might recommend, well, these are the surgeons in town, you know, this is who you can go to, they might want to do some of their own research. A lot of people are doing that nowadays. So they will look up the doctors. So it's amazing to me how many times we send out information about just about any business mm -hmm. out there. And so it's a good tool, you know, for that. Where can people get the directory? Well, the new ones are going to be coming out, and I know that they they were at one time, like in grocery stores and places like that. You know, okay. they would have like a little one of those little racks and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, uh, you know, because I am kind of back into the swing of things, I don't know for sure, but I'm kind of thinking that that's where they're going to be. Okay. And at some of the businesses, you yeah. know, you could probably pick one up at your business. Mm -hmm. But the new ones come out in April. Like I say, this one's 2014, okay. but the new ones do come out in April. So, um, so and it's just a the Better Business Bureau does more than just, and then of course they alert people to scams. Right. They keep right. track of that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And we have fraud alerts, and we have, uh, and not frog, but fraud <laughs> alerts. <laughs> and we have scam alerts, and we have scam jams, and different things like that where we invite the whole public to come, and then we'll have guest speakers to talk about it. And identity theft, you know, is such a big problem nowadays. Mm -hmm. That's such a big, big issue. So anyway, so BBB is a lot more than what you think it is. Okay. So if you're considering becoming a member, or an accredited business, let me know. <laughs> All right. Good information. We'll continue with more of Today on 2 right after this. In the nation, the safest feature in your car is you. Add Vanishing Deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. We continue with more of Today on 2, this part of our show. Not surprisingly, we're going to try to give away some prizes. Yay. Let's see what we have for prizes today. We have a free haircut from Hair by Loretta. And we have the large five-topping pizza, courtesy of Coleman Pizza Hut. And a round of golf at Chesley Oaks Golf Course. Those are the prizes for today. We're going to show you some ads and then ask you a question about one of these ads. So let's roll with our ads for today. Starting with Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, located in the Berlin Quick Stop on Highway 278. The family barbecue pack, just $14.99. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Earl's Body Shop voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. Large and small towing available local or long distance. 24 hours available. I okay. think that's Dairy Queen. Is this Dairy Queen? I think so. <laughs> All right. It's so good, it's blizzard good. The kick chicken strip basket. 
I don't know how much it is. I don't know was. either. Yeah, Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center does great fitness opportunities. That Whirlpool Spa, that would be a great way to relax after you've been exercising all afternoon. Be Fit, a fitness facility located right downtown. You pay just $50 a month, no long-term contract, and you get a personal trainer. Steel Orchard has the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Check out their baked items. They've got all kinds of fried pies and apple pies and all kinds of goodies. Chesley Oaks Golf Course <laughs> open again after the snow. They're open seven days a week, and it is a full 18-hole golf course on County Road 1583 in Fairview. And done right taxes and bookkeeping services. And of course, that's by appointment or walk in or drop off personal and business taxes, payroll, bookkeeping, all available at done right taxes. There we go with some of the merchant ads for today. Question for today is about Mr. Hicks menswear. We have a picture in the ad of some couples going to the prom. Mm -hmm. How many couples are in the oh, picture? Oh, very good. How many couples in the prom picture? in the Mr. Hicks ad. 256-734-7399 is our phone number. We have a haircut by Loretta. We have pizza from Pizza Hut and a round of golf at Chesley Oaks Golf Course as our prizes for today. Go ahead and give us a call while we watch Money Matters brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank and this is Allison Lewis. She's our Good Hope Office Manager. Today, Allison's going to tell us a little bit about what it takes to get a car loan. I want to talk to the young people out there who are approaching their 16th birthday and they're thinking about purchasing their first car. One thing that you may not know is that most institutions do require a down payment, which is a percentage of the purchase price paid in cash by you. And the more your vehicle costs, the more your down payment's going to be. So as you approach your 16th birthday, be thinking about how you can save your money so that you'll be prepared to pay your down payment. If you have any questions, you can stop by her Good Hope office and see Allison, or you can come by any of our other eight locations or give us a call at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. We don't have any phone calls, so I guess we need to show you that ad, the Mr. Hicks ad, and the rest of our merchant ads right now. Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. Browsers always welcome. Books always on sale. Every book, every day on sale at Deb's Bookstore. And Mullins Body Shop. You've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service and towing. And you can count on them today. That's Mullins Body Shop. Liberty Tax Service. Two offices in which to serve you in Coleman and in Hansville. They're open 8 till 9, 8 a.m. till 9 p.m and Saturday and Sunday. There's Mr. Hicks menswear and formal wear. Go and see their new prom looks. They always have the latest. And guess what? I see three couples three in there. Three couples. <laughs> Fun, fabulous formals at Mr. Hicks menswear. Pizza Hut has the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet, which is served, of course, at lunch every day and on Sunday night from 5 until 8 o'clock, priced at just $5.99. And Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store, complete espresso bar, organic fair trade shade grown uh, items, and then Monday is open mic night. That's tonight, and this Friday, Gary Sanders, the singer songwriter, will be performing. Frosting's Bakery, come and find out the new flavors of the month. And by the way, they serve soup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 7. Friday and Saturday, 10 until 8. And Cotton State Barns, where you can buy or rent to own. They have carports, play sets, utility trailers, storage buildings located right there on 278 West at Cotton State Barns. Grand Point Pharmacy, coffee and gift shop. And they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. Grand Point Pharmacy on Highway 31 North. And tires for less, more than just tires. Get your oil changed there, get some minor engine repair done. Shocks and brakes can be changed, alignments can be done. Hair by Loretta. Loretta is the color specialist and she does hair care for everybody in the family. She is open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the <coughs> Belfair Salon. And there we go with the merchant ads for today. We'll be back and check out our birthdays and anniversaries right after this.
As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Let's look at those community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Coleman First United Methodist women are doing a rummage sale March the 13th and the 14th. Check out those hours. Proceeds from the sale donated to local nonprofit agencies located right there at 323rd Street Southeast. And the Smithsonian Traveling Exhibition is still taking place at the Evelyn Burrow Museum at Wallace State, now through March the 20th, and it's the way we worked. And if you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can send it to channel2coleman.com, email us channel2coleman at gmail.com, give us a call 256-734-7399, or like us on Facebook at channel 2 Coleman. And we would like to wish Trevor Kreider, a happy birthday today. His name will be put into the drawing on Friday where he has that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Now let's check the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It'll be a rainy Monday. High of 44 degrees. Overnight low tonight, 41. Boy, that's the warmest morning we've had in a long time. Tomorrow, a high of 67, but it'll probably rain all day. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Yeah, yuck. That's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.